Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm gonna to talk about design competition contest websites. So the biggest one, the most well-known one is called 99designs.com. It's a place where people who are looking for design work, whether it be logo designs or website designs, can launch a contest, specify the prize amount, and then also the project brief. And then web designers or logo designers or whatever can come on into that project and then try to compete with other designers so that the contest holder can pick a winner. All right, so it sounds fun, uh, but there are some designers who spend basically their life, <laughs> or I think they probably make their living by submitting uh, concepts to these design contests. Uh, so, you know, live and let live, obviously, but I'm gonna go over some of the numbers here. I'm gonna switch off to the desktop and just go over some of the numbers here uh, when it comes to what seems to be the average designer that is on these design websites and how many how many projects they enter, how many they actually win, and what that all comes out roughly, if you can approximate you know, how much they're making. Uh, in the end, I guess I, want, I would say try to stay away from these sites if you're a designer or even if you're somebody who is looking for design work. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch real quick. Okay, so here we are at the main page, and to be able to uh, get to where you want to go to see where I'm looking at, you just go to Logo Identity, Logo Design, for example, and uh, come down here, and then you click on Browse More Logo Contests, and it shows you the Finish Contest and then the Open Contests. I'm going to come down here to the right, and it shows you Recent Winning Designers, okay? So these are just their avatars, basically. I, I'm going to just right click on open up in a new tab a few of these just randomly at the top and these are like the latest winners so if I click on this I uh, it'll show you some stats based on you know how many this person has won and have been shortlisted so shortlisted means they were chosen like on the final round so this guy was shortlisted six times he won five of those uh, in that final round and he totaled his winnings total about a thousand dollars all right so uh, you look at this and you say okay not bad I mean he entered possibly six contests and he won five right okay well let's check out another one this guy won 22 shortlisted 66 so he won you know you may think to yourself when you see this maybe one third of the time uh, so let's do this again 112 shortlisted 17 won about half of these a little bit over and this guy, he entered 47, you think, maybe, and uh, 10, okay? So, <laughs> uh, same thing with this guy. Not bad, right? Well, here's the thing that I found interesting when I, before I was going to record this video. I researched this a little bit. Uh, they, 99 Designs, they removed an essential uh, piece of data that they used to include. And they used to show how many total contests that person has entered and sometimes they would show the short list and then they'll know how many they won now obviously the reason they did this and i took a screenshot of this last year and i put together um a, a random sample like i did up here um I, I took a screenshot of each of these their pages and then i just cut out this portion and i put them in one image and I was making a post on a different forum just to to do some math, you know, based on you know how, how much these guys, the, the, your average 99 designer, is working and winning and making. So, I, I, the, fortunately, the image is still up. It's hosted on imageurl.ur.com, and that's a uh, a site where you can host images basically for free. It's real quick and easy. And as you can see, it shows you how many. They they entered, but they don't do that anymore. And why why would they take that away? Because it's kind of embarrassing, actually. <laughs> this was just a random sample uh, taken from that recent winning designers list. And just like these, I mean, these guys, okay, he won uh, five shortlisted six, but maybe he entered 30. This person shortlisted 66 times. Maybe, though, he entered, I don't know, maybe 400 but only 122 so that's why they took that away because that's kind of discouraging if you you're a designer you're an aspiring designer and you see that number 
Uh, so uh, I did a little bit math back when I made this post. I mean, to, to enter 1,200 contests and only win one, one tenth of them, that is that is discouraging. I mean, to enter 204 contests and only win seven, to enter 51 different contests doing design work for each one of these and only winning four. I mean, this is kind of the average. Entered 695 contests and only won two. I mean, who does this? <laughs> Unless, of course, they're using like stock image and they're just brute forcing uh, submissions to, to all these things, which, you know, they boast uh, on their 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 sell page uh, that you'll get so many like hundreds of uh, concepts, which if you're somebody who's looking for a logo design or a website design, that sounds great. But the vast majority of these, they're just absolute garbage. So. I went through and did some math with this, and uh, basically out of these numbers right here, the average winning percentage uh, between these six is 5.6%. So you enter, let's say, for example, a uh, 1,000 contests, and let's say, for example, the average designer spends maybe one hour on the contest, which, you know, for an actual design, it's a little bit, no, that's not hardly anything. But so let's just say it's just one hour, which includes the design, the revisions requested from the contest order, the multiple concepts, uh, logo design contests, whatever. Uh, you enter a thousand, and we'll say it's a thousand hours of work. Uh, likely it may be more. You win 56 of them, because that's 5.6%. And then let's assume the average payout's like $300, which is what probably the average payout is uh, if you look at the, the open contests. Um, well, I'm not back at that page, but yeah, it's around 300 bucks. And uh, so that's sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars for a thousand hours of work, or sixteen eighty per hour. So, assuming the average guy's working on this eight hours a day, six days a week to fulfill that thousand hours of work, it take basically five months, which is comes out to a monthly income of about thirty three hundred dollars. So the important thing to recognize here is though, if you're if you use ninety nine designs to get design work. Uh, while 3300 a month isn't entirely bad income for some designers, it's based on a necessity to enter tons upon tons of contests and focus on very quick work, which I imagine a good portion of which is reused from other contests that they didn't win. And so that's kind of the bad thing if you're uh, uh, somebody who's starting a contest, maybe you're starting a business, you need a logo design or something, you'll see they – you may not know that a lot of the designs are just recycled, regarbage or <laughs> recycled garbage, basically. Uh, I mean, l let me go over here and find uh, one of the latest design winning designs here. Let me find it because I was just amazed. I uh, click on logo design here and right here. So this this person paid what they call the gold price, seven hundred ninety nine eight hundred bucks, basically for a logo design got 600 entries okay <laughs> now take a look at the winning design though i mean come on i mean whew. i mean i hope they at least provided them in a black and white version and one without all these <laughs> crazy gradients and strokes everywhere uh because they could have gotten much much better from an experienced designer had they just done a little bit of research uh, on finding a good designer maybe on behance or dribble or just using google but I, I mean, if I go through some of these, um, click on see all designs. I mean, th there's, yeah, they got 600 concepts and, and your average person, you know, who's, who wants a, a design done, they're thinking that's awesome, you know, but, th but these, I mean, very few are worth maybe even 50 bucks, if that. Uh, I'm trying to find just a couple like, like this. I mean, you find these designs all over the place uh, that are pretty much submitted to every single logo design contest on 99 songs that I've seen. Uh, they're these, it's the arc through the middle of the text stuff. Uh, you get so many of these, it's really sad. Uh, but anyhow, so when it comes to this over here, if you think to yourself, well, $3,300 a month, you know, maybe I'm starting out, that's, that's not bad. Uh, you're gonna be working your ass off completely practically 24 seven just to make that amount. And so it completely devalues your work. You can't focus on good design 
because it would take too long. So you're forced to just sit up. Basically, what I sh- what this really is is basically McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's versus, I guess you could say, uh, a decent restaurant. Uh, <laughs> this is the McDonald's logo design, unfortunately. So I don't want to hate too much. You know, I if people are happy designing for this for these contests so be it live and let live but and also if you want to enter them just for fun go ahead and do that but i'm telling you if you just take the time that you would spend or even just i don't know 20 percent of the time that you would spend if you're some of these people on really trying to develop a solid design business on your own and you'll be able to make so much more money you'll be able to work less uh and you'll have more dignity <laughs> as well. All right. So uh, also, I don't want to hate too much either because, you know, what? the guy behind the site is just making an absolute killing. This is a huge site. Uh, it's the guy behind SitePoint.com, uh, which is a real old established site. And I believe they also own, I think they own Flippa.com as well. Uh, but anyhow, yeah. So I, I have a lot of aspiring designers. This is why I put this video together. Don't try to rely on contests to maybe just to get your feet wet you know whatever that's fine although there are are also better approaches to that you know you can hit up local businesses who don't have logos and you can just do them for free i mean the likeliness of winning any of these contests i mean 5.6 percent that seems to be pretty much the average and yeah that's just kind of demoralizing but anyhow yeah uh so check out designcourse.com if you haven't subscribe here on youtube i'm doing a video every day of the year of 2014 and uh yeah subscribe to check these out all right goodbye